What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 16 of my Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. And in the last episode, we explored uh, Verdant Turf Town, route, finished Route 106, Route 111, the beginning of it, and lots going on right now, guys. So uh, we're in Route 112, and we are going to uh, we're going to head up here to Mount Chimney. So we've got uh, we've got a Pokemon battle right here. For you guys, a trainer battle. Gonna battle some trainers. The trainer's gonna battle some us. I wanted to let you guys know, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this Pokemon has always been like a really personal game for me, you know, something you kind of play privately, but um, since getting my capture card and starting my channel, it's become something that I really like to do with other people. It's become much more social for me, and I just, I, I love doing it, and I love that you guys are are here uh, sharing this with me, so sappy stuff out of the way. What you missed if you were just looking at my beautiful face when I was getting all emotional there was that I murdered a Geo dude. I actually killed it uh, with an iron head. This guy has sturdy, so he's gonna set up on me with a little rock polish. If this guy were a golem, I would be scared now, but I don't think I've ever been, lol. The only move I could have done that wouldn't have killed this guy, I accidentally clicked, uh, oh my god, he just rocked a magnitude 9 super effective on me, oh my god. Oof. Thank god I crazy out level this guy, that would have absolutely killed me. Um, I accidentally used hold back there, which, as you guys know, leaves them with 1 HP. I got a crit this time, which is good, which is good. I just had some, uh, some lunch, I had some kanja, some chicken, Portuguese chicken soup. And I had uh, some tamales, so everything is good in life right now. All of it, all of the life is pretty, pretty solid. I'm gonna go for an iron head, and good. I got a crit, and he is not sturdy, so that guy goes down. I want to see more Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm just seeing the same Mon over and over and over. So. We got a cave there. Team Grunt blocking the cable car, it looks like. Oh, this guy wants to have a battle also. Hmm. He's got two Geodude. No, he's got a Nummel. That's cool. Pre evolution of a camera up. This guy's on his way. This guy's on his way to having a new Mega. Nummel? I don't even know. Iron Head. No, he's part fire. Still kill him. <laughs> let's uh, let's get Hank in here so that we can get some boosted money, some cash money on the Machop. That's a good switch for me. That is a good switch. Yeah, these guys uh, they use ground fighting and rock types a lot. So flying types are usually pretty good as long as they're not uh, you know packing too many rock types. But hit those, uh, avoid the the ground type attacks and super effective hit those fighting types. Way to go, Hank. Pulling your weight. Chill grew to level 27 and wants to learn Chip Away. But I'm just going to keep his old moves. I don't think he needs Chip Away. TBPH. So this guy lost. He's a giant loser. And uh, these grunts are going to be like, nah, this is our cart now. Grumble. Yep. So, no going in there. Ah, is there an item nearby me? No. The ground is just red all around me. So let's get back on my bike. And uh, we're in the Fiery Path Cave right now, it looks like. So, giant boulder that we can't push aside just yet. We'll have to come back for that. And we're going to get into a fight. What's in this cave? Some fire-type Pokemon? Oh, Slugma! Um... I am a little bit low on health, and I don't want to die here. But I'm just going to go for hold back anyway, because I'd like to catch the Slugma. He's going to go for a rock throw, which is great. I resist that. Pre-evolution of Mag Cargo right there, stepping up his game. Let's throw a Pokeball at this sluggy little guy. It's like Slugma, like magma. Liquid hot magma. I got him, guys. Slugma was gone. <laughs> Ugh. Good. PK grew to 21. You know what? I'm going to start using PK. PK grew to 21. PK grew to 21. 
PK is strong enough that I think, I mean, he's not going to be one shot in anything anytime soon, but he's, uh, he's got some strength. Oh, I didn't let you guys read that, did I? I'm sorry. I'm rushing a little bit. I'm not sure why. Uh, I guess I just, I guess I'm just going, just going for it. Just trying to, I'm trying to get to, get to a play. I think I want another gym battle. It's been enough episodes that we need to get a gym battle in here. I'm not such an amateur that I'm going to take it easy just because you're a kid. Yeah, no one in this world takes it easy on me because I'm a kid. And this guy's wearing, he's a street thug, but he's wearing short shorts, so. He's just not a mighty Yina. This is what Charles would have looked like if he hadn't fallen in battle. Um, he can hit me super effective, and he's a fully evolved Pokemon. I think I should get out of here. Hank's going to come in and earn me my... Um, Earn me my extra money, and then I'm gonna order my. I'm gonna reorder my my team after that. Uh, Odor sleuth. Of course he did. Hank Inish this dude. I N I S H Inish this kid. Wow. Did he just go for swagger? Are you swagging me right now? Yo, this Hank already had too much swag. This is not fair, and I have bad luck with confusion. Don't hurt yourself, Hank. Good. Thank you. Get out of here. That shit is banned. Smoking rules. I know, not everyone plays them. Blah, blah, blah. Hank grew to 31. Princess? Did Princess grow? Miguel grew to 31 also. Princess grew to 18. And Street Thug Jalen. He's got a little bit of, uh, he's got like a plusle on the back here. Me. Mm. Pretty accurate drawing if I do say so myself. I consider myself a bit of an artist. Princess wants to evolve. Well, why don't you just go right ahead, Princess? Maybe I should use Princess in battle. Azumarill's a beast, dude. Oh, what an angry little round bunny. What if they all had different spots here? That'd be pretty cool, right? Wouldn't everybody enjoy that a little bit? I would enjoy it, guys. My mommy always told me it's my it's my opinion that matters. Not anyone else's. You gotta do what you wanna do. That's from South Park. No, I don't wanna plant a berry. I spam the A button too much, guys. That's what I do. That's my problem. What's your problem? <laughs> Let's, uh, okay. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna grab this berry, too, while I'm at it. Raz? They look like raspberries. Raspberries. Uh, looking at the bottom screen, it would appear that I've got every Pokemon in this zone. Good job. You caught them all. So that's cool. Don't mind if I do not catch anything in this area then. So let's keep moving. Keep it moving, guys. I'm already out of that path, aren't I? I was barely even in it. So let's uh, let's move some Pokemon around. I think you guys have had enough of Matang for now. Let's get um, let's get Princess in there, and let's move that item onto you, Princess. We're gonna see what you can do here. Actually, I'm also gonna teach you some attacks. So I don't want you uh, getting all weak on me. You can learn Rock Smash. That's probably better than something you've got. So let's teach him Rock Smash. In lieu of Bubble. Oh my god. Water Sport. That's even worse. Water Sport is gone. Let's see what else I can get you. Uh, round is pointless. Attract and Strength. You can be my Strength Slave for now. Although realistically... Power 80, I should get rid of Slash. And, uh... I guess you might as well... Ugh, roll out Defense Curl. Let's get rid of Defense Curl. Let's keep roll out for now, but... Yeah, let's do that. And let's also give Strength to Chill. Because Chill does not need... Slash if he has strength. If you've got the strength, you can do it. So Chill's becoming a little bit of an HM slave here. And I'm gonna move it on up. Move it on out. South. 
What is this? Back into the dust devil land? Yeah, it's a vicious sandstorm. So I can't come here yet. I probably need some, like, protective gear. Like a shroud, a mask. Gas mask. Show me how much you've toughened your Pokemon. All right, Ace Trainer. Or thug? What are you? Ace Trainer Wilton. He sends out an Electrike. I almost sent out an Electrike myself. But instead I sent out Princess. Um, this guy's a higher level than me. And I don't have anything to hit him super effective with. But I am Princess. So let's see how much damage Strength does here. He's probably going to outspeed me. He goes for the Quick Attack. That's not even super effective. This is a little bit of a ballsy play, but I'm confident that I'm going to take this guy out. So we get we got one more in me, and seeing how... Yeah, he's going to go for the physical Thunder Fang. That's not going to do too much. I flinch. Uh, I'm just going to kill him anyway. He goes for the Quick Attack. Good. Princess, you hung in there like a beast, like a boss. Electric goes down. Despite the flinch hacks, and I get static. Oh, my goodness. All right, Princess, you did your best. We're going to get you out of here. Matang. Bag on. We got a dragon coming our way? Who can take out a dragon? I don't have any ice attacks or dragon attacks. Let's get Chill in here. He's pretty low level, and I'm not really confident that PK can take this guy out right now. That's my thought process. What up, little baggin? Strength. Mmm, you're fired. <laughs> Chill is strong, dude. He's like a really powerful guy. Let's keep Chill in here. Princess uh, did not did not do so hot. TBH. Not not really proud of her. I mean, she was going up against. A Pokemon that she had a bad matchup with. And she did two hit KO it. And survive a super effective hit on her. I'm gonna lean back a little bit. Let's see, ooh, yeah. This chair's this chair's pretty comfortable. Okay, so Ace Trainer is done. He had a dragon, which is kinda kinda BS. Mm-hmm. I can smell it. I can smell it right here. The scent of adventure. It's definitely going to be a secret spot. Are you going to give me secret spot right now? Secret, uh, power? There'll be enough space here to build a crazy super secret place. Or my name's not our room. It probably is, though. This guy, uh... He's got a little goatee here, but that's not the thing I think he needs to shave. I think he needs to clean up those eyebrows a little bit. Yo, my, my young Pokemon trainer, what can I do for you, huh? Hmm, huh? What do you mean you didn't ask for anything? Bet your heart did. Now, now, no need to be shy. After all, we managed to meet. My name's Arun. Put her there. Oh, he's like a cowboy. A Nova born at 25 years old. Spent the last 11 years trying to find myself. Just a vagabond search of dreams. I'm wandering around Hoenn trying to find a place where I really belong. That's right, super secret base. You don't know about secret bases? What kind of life is that? Too sad, little bro. Time to take a lecture from Uncle Arun. Let's start with what a secret base is, which is adventure. Romance. Awesome. Romance, dude? All right. For real, it's the best place ever to chill. You, your pals, that, let, that you let hang out? Since you got this chance, you ought to learn how to make one. Take this. TM-94, Secret Ass Power. Secret Ass Power? Like you move the hyphen around? Secret Power can help you find the entrance to hidden places. These entrances, they're full of adventure, all right. That's why I like to... Wait. That's why I like to throw some spice in there and call them Secret Spots. Like this, see? This right here is a secret spot. Doesn't it look like you just climb up right into this tree? That's exactly the kind of place to bust out secret power. Aw, oh, yeah, never get tired of that. And that's how, right, that's all there is to find the secret spots and create the entrance to a secret base. This move is crucial to having a secret base. Don't forget, nah. This guy's got a cool little spot. All right, Arun. Mm-hmm, not a bad layout. See, behind each spot, you'll find a space like this. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. 
So basically, whatever you find a secret spot, you ought to at least check it out with a secret power. Just think. Someday this place could be somewhat secret base, all decorated and filled with goods and friends. I'd really love to well, I'd really love to see it like that. Wait a sec. But who in the world are you? Ah right, Gio. Sorry about that. I've just gone such a roll. So then, Gio, how about I give you one more tip? When you feel happy about something, you ought to express that feeling. Put it in words, it'll cheer everybody up. So how about you tell me, huh? Come on, tell all all ruin what you say when you're totally thrilled. Okay. Yay. <laughs> this is what was already typed in there. I don't know what I say. What do I say when I'm really thrilled? Woohoo, I guess? Woo! Woo! <laughs> That's what I say. Whistle. Woo! Oh, the whistle go. Woo! That's good. Now why I asked you that, isn't it obvious? It's because I can already see there's plenty of future to feel happy about. That's just how we roll in the secret base life. Every day is full of happy adventures. Oh yeah. Hmm. Now I could go ahead and make a secret base right here, but I get the feeling that this layout could be even better for you, old bro. Guess I'm gonna leave this spot to you. I don't want it, Uncle Arun. Oh, it's yours now. So decorate it, destroy it, do whatever you want, whatever floats your boat, right? Oh, right, decorating. See, any decorations will get sent to you. The PC is the secret base automatically. Place them around and liven up the place a little bit. Mm hmm. There's a PC. That's where you'll find your decorations. Not that you probably have much, right? Here, I'll get you these to get you started. Oh, right! One last thing. You can do more than make your own secret base. You can visit other people's secret bases for a bit of fun. If you find a secret base that belongs to someone else, check it out. And here's the real point. When you check someone's base, collect the flag you find next to the PC. <laughs> Something good might come of it. Looks like we're about time for me to hit the old dusty trail in search of my perfect base. Goodbye for now, but hopefully I'll see you again, Gio. If you need me for anything, try dropping in at a secret base guild in Fortree. Alright, Arun. Thanks for that lecture. That took 8 million hours, but here we are. In my little secret base, it's a normal flag. Um... We could, uh... Manage QR code patterns. Interesting. Find a secret base. Oh, I saw this Smogan has a secret base right now. Uh, do you want the secret base QR code will be automatically added to your favorites? You already registered favorites, you won't be able to do Starting up the outer cameras. Okay. If yeah, this is what we're doing, guys, then, uh... <laughs> this is what you see, this giant... This is my cord that goes to my, uh... Goes to my my little keyboard, which is right here. You got, here you go, guys. You can see what my uh, what my screen looks like right now. Oh, that's bad. So here's my phone, you like my case. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do because I know that Smogan has a secret base QR code, and I have that right here. So I'm gonna see if I can scan that code from here. Let's see if it uh, if it reads it. Come on. <laughs> I think it doesn't like that it's, uh... Oh, yeah, I need to press A, I think. I need to read it. Yeah. The QR code failed to be read. Try again. Failed to be read. All right, well, I'm just going to... I'll do this later. <laughs> I don't need to be wasting your guys' time with this right now. And we gotta finish up this zone. Yeah, we gotta finish up this zone here. So we're not gonna... The top screen's kinda all black there. So what do you wanna do? Nothing. I'm done here. I'm done with this secret base. I'm gonna go find a better secret base. With blackjack and hookers. We're gonna cut this. Um, I really wanna finish the zone. As best I can. That was a that was a little bit of a fun lecture from All Rune. 
Uh, can I? I feel like my bike can't go up. Oops. Nope. Turn that back on. I feel like my bike can't go up here. Am I right? Yeah, I need to be a mock bike for that. Blur. What's going on in here? Come in and rest your tired bones. No. We got a little girl here who's gonna want to battle. Ah, oh, man, these zones are getting really long with lots of battles. Fairy tale girl Cece sent out Spoink. I feel like that would be the noise Spoink would make. You go. Princess is paralyzed, but um, let's go for a strength anyway. It's my strongest attack. He's got a side beam. I should be careful here. Yeah, Princess is going to go down in one more attack here, so I should switch her out. Let's switch in, um, let's switch in Hank. My dedicated switch in. Hank's going to come in here, mop the floor, and earn me a little extra cash money. <laughs> cash money. Psych up. He's going to borrow my stat boost, which I don't have. And I'm just going to finish, finish things off quickly with this aerial ace. Aerial Ace is a great way, if you're just trying to, like, murder your way through this game quickly, to, uh, to do everything, because... Oh, he's got a Mawile. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what? Let's give PK a chance to shine. Let's see what you can do against a Mawile, buddy. Uh, you're gonna hit him on the special side. He's gonna intimidate you, but that ain't, ain't no thing. Let's go for the uh, let's go for the spark one time. Try and get that try and get that parala size. That does nothing. He goes for vice grip. What is that? I don't even know what that does. I'm gonna I'm gonna volt switch. I am not pleased with how little damage I'm doing to this small while. That did a lot more damage. Spark must be really weak. And it makes sense. It's just a spark. It's not really anything special. Um, let's get uh. Let's get Chill in here. I'll hit him neutral with a with a fighting type attack. He goes for fake tears. That's gonna harshly lower something. Special defense. Jeez. And uh, now I'm just gonna rock smash, and that should be GG for this Mawile. Yeah, Mawile goes down. And CC, I think I got you. I think I got you pegged. I got you. All figured out. You need everyone's eyes just to be seen. Girl, you're so vain. You probably think that the song is about you, don't you? Don't you? No, I'm done here. We're moving on. Moving on up. We've got some berries here. What is this? What kind of berry is this? We've got a Pecha in the middle and Rost on the side. Rost berries aren't blue. No, no planting berries. I need to stop hitting the A button so rapidly. Let's get this Petcha berry. That's a nanab. Nanab. N A N A B A. This berry is nanab. N A N A B. Um, is this another trainer? How many more trainers are there? I don't want to just keep fighting all day. I feel like that would be boring for you guys. So I'm just going to skip everything I can here. We're going to walk up north, try and get by this girl without having to see anything. This is the route to 113. So we did manage to finish this route off, and we're now entering 113. And we see May again, and this is going to be a good place to end, I think. Ending with conversations with May on back-to-back -back episodes. That road here was pretty long, huh? I got tired enough that I took a little break. Geo, your Pokemon look pretty tired themselves. Thank you. Now I don't need to switch Princess out of number one position. There, that's all better. I'm on my way to pay a visit to Professor Cosmo. He's famous for research on meteorites. He was working on a project with my dad. <laughs> I mean, Professor Birch. On how meteorites might affect Pokemon. Oh, I guess I'm going to get to Mega Evolve soon. Enough dawdling. I think it's not much farther to Fall Arbor. Let's give it one last push. What are you saying here? Okay, there's a Pokemon right there. Uh, I'm gonna sneak on over to it. Uh, is that a Skarmory? Is that a freaking Skarmory right now? 
Oh my god. I cannot believe they have Skarmory so early in this game. That's... Oh my god, that's incredible. Um, okay. Let's get my boy in here. Let's get my Tang in here. Oh man. I can't believe they have Skarmory already. Air Cutter. Jeez, I might need this Skarmory on my team. He could be a great HM slave. He learned Strength, Cut, and Fly. Oh, man. And he's a tank, so... But you know what? Hank is going to be my flyer. Hank is kind of pulling his weight really well right now. Um, let's go for... Let's go for an Iron Head. Everything I have on this guy is resisted by the Skarmory. I did flinch him though, so let's get a couple. Let's get a couple more of these before I go for the hold back. I am a little worried about hitting with a crit, so maybe I should just switch over now. I'm gonna switch over now. It's probably gonna take me a couple, and this is gonna be a great place to end the episode. Catching a new friend, Skarmory. Oh baby, he's got Fury Attack. What a waste of a move. Let's hit him with one more hold back. 1 HP or nah. He's got 1 HP now. He's going to go into the Fury attack, wasting as much time as possible <laughs> to a crit on that second one. He's going to go for 3 here. And I am going to throw a Pokeball at you. I probably should have just gone straight for the Great Ball. I don't think this is going to catch him. Skarmory's pretty high catch rate. Yeah, he's not going like, to like Pokeballs. You can't lower my stats, friend. Let's go for the great, great ball. And let's get the Skarmory all caught. And uh, I'm going to have to think about this off camera, whether or not I'm actually going to want to use this guy. Gee, really? I don't want to just keep... I mean, that didn't even come close. So maybe I should just... You've got one HP. And I can't catch you. And I could put you to sleep or paralalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
<laughs> like my mom calls me by my YouTube alias or something. All right, but that's going to be where we end this episode. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any questions for me, leave them for me in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.